Okay, so we are live. Um, and uh, for start, I would like to ask you, what's your name and your involvement in the Lifeline exhibition? My name is Pat Dunwalker, and I'm one of the participating artists in this Lifeline exhibition. Um, so who's, what's the name of the person that you took a portrait of? This is Shayla Bain, and she is a nurse anesthetist, and I, has a higher certification than that. She also supervises a group of nurses who I believe nominated her for this award, and I think one of her jobs is to uh, work with ventilators and placing breathing tubes, something I can't even imagine somebody she does it. And what is, uh, what is the media and process that you choose to use for the portrait? Um, I paint in acrylic. I really enjoy painting in acrylic. I often mix with papers and such, but in this I use strictly paint and uh, medium, acrylic medium. Is there something from, from her story that you kind of uh, inspired you? Well, um, her pictures, uh, the pictures I saw of her, uh, she seemed like a very kind of um, smart, giving, probably slightly overworked person who is probably excellent at what she does, otherwise she wouldn't get this nomination, and also has a busy family life. And that was quite intriguing to me that somebody could do two things, very intense type of occupations, and, uh, you know, it's... I am quite impressed by that, and I'm glad I could do something for her in some small way. And is there something about like, the sense of color in the digital? Um, you know, I've been trying to make brighter colors in my work and be more intentional in my um, color choices. Uh, I've been looking at, I was looking at Andy Warhol. And his work is entirely different than portraiture, but he does a lot of faces. And I love the bright colors and um, David Hockney. And I, I really enjoy looking at brighter colors these days. Um, well, it, it, there's two parts to it. Since the lockdown pandemic started, as the warmer weather came in, it's not as difficult as it could have been. I also live with my husband. I don't live alone, and our adult children came back to visit during this time. So it wasn't as hard as it could have been, and I kind of enjoyed the slower pace of the pandemic. But I don't like the worry and I don't like the lack of stimulation and the lack of freedom. I um, went to an art supply store for the first time in several months, and they were only letting five people in at a time, and you could only spend 15 minutes in there. and That was very frustrating, so it's a very small uh, inconvenience, but, you know, the lack of freedom is difficult, but I sure know it could be a lot worse, and I'm grateful for our health, and for these people who make our lives easier by doing these tough jobs. Is there something else that you want to share with our audience? Um, I will thank you to all these workers and to those who don't get recognized. And um, I hope that um, Sheila likes her portrait enough to hang it up in her home. <laughs> And um, I really appreciate the opportunity because now I've started exploring portraiture more. And that's been really a nice uh, benefit for me. Thank you so much. Thank you.